we want to make sure that those who are coming in feel safe um, and that those who want to come in and cause trouble know that that won't be tolerated. The St. Patrick's Day Parade is nearly two weeks away and city officials are making sure people stay safe. Well, it's a great day to celebrate, but obviously you know, a day to maintain vigilance on safety. So we're trying to be proactive. They expect up to a million people to travel to South Boston, and they're hoping to prevent hateful messages like what's been seen in years past from being spread. Your message is not welcome. If you violate the law, you'll be held accountable. This group, classified as a neo-Nazi organization by the Anti-Defamation League, was seen hanging a banner that reads, Keep Boston Irish at last year's parade. State Senator Nick Collins says that act is illegal, as well as hanging flyers on the T, which he says happened last year. You can't use public assets without authorization, and so that's wrong, that's illegal, and that was a big part of their uh, strategy last time, and we're going to make sure that they held them accountable if they do that again. Transit Police says there will be an increased police presence at multiple of the train stations, and city officials plan on meeting with them to come up with a comprehensive plan to prevent people from spreading these hateful messages.